going on guys uh, we have a sequence given by this notation and asking to find whether it converges or diverges right so this is cos square n and we know that um, so here first we are going to write this one as a limit n approaches infinity cos square n over 2 power n right and we know that um, whatever the cos value is going to be always going to be between negative 1 and 1 right so if it's cos n it's going to be between negative 1 and 1 so what's going to be if it's cos square n right cos square n um, don't assume it's going to be positive 1 because if you look at this one right here uh, if you have negative 1 0 and 1 right 0 and 1 if you get any value between this one and square this for example half of 1 power 4 or anything like that if you square it you will get the value between this interval right and what happens if you get a negative value and uh, square it you will also like for example negative 1 uh, 104 negative 1 over 2 so that's going to be between this interval right 0 to 1 so the interval is going to be uh, from 0 to 1 so here uh, this is going to be 0 so cos uh, so we put this one already right here so let's write here okay this is going to be between 0 and 1 right so that's going to be the interval now what we are going to do is uh, we are going to use a uh, squeeze theorem. Squeeze theorem when it says uh, if you divide this one by 2n, so whatever the value cos square uh, cos square n over 2n, 2 power n, that's going to be equal to 0 over 2 power n. The interval is going to be 0 over 2 power n. But if you divide anything by 0, I mean if you divide 0 by anything, that's going to be 0, right? And here we are going to have 1 over 2 power n, right? And then what we have to do, we have to find the limit n approaching n approaching infinity in this interval and figure out what we get. So for ex first uh, let's pick up this pick up this zero. Limit n approaches infinity zero. And we have limit n approaches infinity 1 over 2 power n so this is definitely going to be 0 there's no n right here so we can directly say this is equal to 0 and here if we substitute like if the n become bigger and bigger this value is going to be 0 right because if you substitute a infinity for n value that's going to be 0 so that's going to make these things 0 so according to squeeze theorem, if this one is zero, if this one is also zero, therefore we can say that this one also zero. So limit cos square n over two power n also going to be zero. Since we have a finite number as our answer, this is converge. So we can say the answer is converge, right? Converge. So this is this is a converge converge and that's how we figure these things out i hope you guys find this video helpful thanks for watching